Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be trying out the new Elf and Duncan Donuts collection. I know you guys have seen this going all over social media. It is the most adorable collab, honestly. Every time Elf comes out with new collections, they just get so much better. Like every collection, the detail, the thought that goes behind it, I absolutely love. And this is a little bit of a smaller collection. There aren't a ton of products, but I still wanted to test everything out because I'm a huge Elf fan, duh. But I also really do love Duncan Donuts. And I actually went out and got coffee for the occasion it's all melted by now but I'm not a huge coffee drinker it's so funny because I only drink coffee maybe a couple times a year like I can count on my hands how many times I drink coffee but whenever I do get coffee I usually just get an iced coffee with a little bit of almond milk so basic but love Duncan love elf had to try everything out I was so impatient I couldn't even wait for the PR package so I did get everything in stores at Ulta so when you guys are watching this video it is gonna be available the only thing you can't get in stores are the makeup brushes it's like a little trio brush set I have a ton of makeup brushes and a lot of them are from elf anyway so I figured not a big deal I did get everything else though so we're just gonna do a really simple little get ready with with me and try out all the goodies and comment down below if you guys are Dunkin Donuts fans do you like Dunkin do you like Starbucks let me know definitely grab a snack grab your iced coffees your donuts and let's hang out and try out this new collection so the first product in the collection is the Dunkin Dozen eyeshadow set so these are basically three of their bite-sized eyeshadows and it looks like a little donut set the first one is the chocolate frosted with sprinkles then we have the strawberry frosted with sprinkles and the Boston cream these are really pigmented I love the bite-sized form if you're looking for great quality eyeshadows at such a great price, you will love these. I'm going to start with the Strawberry Frosted with Sprinkles palette. Let me just mention, there are no matte shades in any of these little palettes except the Boston Cream palette. In the Boston Cream palette, there is a dark chocolate brown that is completely matte. But all the other mattes in here, they're not necessarily shimmery. They are more so like matte shades with a glitter finish to them. And those are called like sequin eyeshadows. So very pretty. You can still use them obviously like as if it was a matte shade but there's going to be a lot of glitter so just something to keep in mind i'm going to use the like mauvey pink shade in the strawberry frosted eyeshadow palette and i'm just going to use that as my neutral blending color i actually did a makeup look yesterday and i used a lot of shades with glitter in them so i probably have glitter in my hair and all over my face still from yesterday this is a pretty color though you see like the glitter kind of like finish that it has but the shade itself is still really pigmented as you can see it doesn't feel gritty when you apply it like it still feels really smooth it feels like a matte eyeshadow the finish is just different i feel like this color would be pretty even just like all over the lid and then add some winged liner and lashes and the color builds up actually really nicely too then I'm gonna go into the Boston cream palette. I definitely want to use this like mostly today because I love like this matte yellow. Well, it's not matte, but like this like really pretty light yellow. And I'm gonna go in with this like really, it looks like a light brown, but it also has again that glitter kind of finish to it. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna just start applying that on the outer lid. Ooh, that's pretty. I like the way it looks like mixed with the pink. These are definitely just like their other bite size little palettes. So the formula is consistent. And normally I don't really like to use like glitters like this because it just gets kind of messy and it just doesn't look good. But I feel like these are layering really nicely. So I'm gonna go in with that dark matte brown and that shade, wow, that's really pigmented. I'm gonna take that and just start kind of Applying that and smudging it to make this a little bit darker and smoky. The little glitter is like flying over. It's making my face itch a little bit because it's like the fallout. But this is why I do my eyes first. And I always still end up getting glitter on my face anyway. So it's like whatever. At this point, it's just a part of my makeup look whenever I play with glitter. Now to really lighten this up a little bit, I'm going to go in with this yellow shade. And this is going to be really pretty. And I'm going to take that on a flat brush. And I'm just going to start packing that on on the inner third of my lid. It always looks crazy, but I promise it's gonna come together once I blend it. Just put on some lashes. These are from Kiss. I will leave the exact style down below if you guys are interested. I am loving these. They're very curly and voluminous. The next product is the Donut Forget Putty Primer. I'm a big fan of the putty primer. I love the original and the matte one. And there's also a luminous one. So this, from what I've seen, is very similar to their luminous putty primer, which I have not used in a while. So this is what it looks like. Let's smell it. It doesn't really smell super strong. Maybe when I apply it, it'll actually start smelling. Oh yeah, 
once you start actually applying it like on your fingers you can smell it it smells very very sweet like a glazed product it's like a vanilla caramel scent i guess it's supposed to be like a glazed donut oh yeah see it gives you like a glow that's pretty actually but it smells nice it's not overly sweet to the point where it's like obnoxious and it feels like you're gonna get like nauseous or like a headache like it's sweet but it's bearable you know like it's a nice sweet scent i find this to be super creamy just like their poreless putty formula but it does give a glow because this is like the luminous putty primer i really like the way that looks i think when i first used the putty primer that was luminous i thought it had like glitter in it so that's why i wasn't loving it but i find this one to be like very pretty and just like naturally glowy so now i'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation on camera i'm gonna use the essence pretty natural foundation this is one of my favorites and i'm gonna use the strawberry frosted with sprinkles face sponge so this is what it looks like dry it's so freaking cute it's like a little donut i love it okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get this damp and then we're gonna see how this is gonna work for foundation because it's a very unique shape Let's see. I'll be right back. So this is what it looks like wet. I did, of course, wring the water out. It's huge. It legit is the size of a donut, like an actual donut. It's so squishy and soft, though. I feel like all of e.l.f. sponges are so good. I don't think there's a sponge that they ever launched that I don't love, to be honest. They're all amazing. They have a bunch of different sizes and shapes for different products, obviously, on your skin. I don't know how this is going to work under the eyes, but I feel like for foundation all over, it would definitely work. All right, let's blend this out. Bam, instant. Okay, I really like this. This actually blends out your products like instantly, but a lot better than I thought. You can bend this obviously to fit if you want it a little bit smaller and not as big, like you can definitely form it to your liking. I don't know if it would really work for the under eyes, but I think for blending out products like on your neck or even on your face, if you wanna blend out your foundation in less than a minute, this definitely will work. But for the under eyes, you might need another sponge. I love the camo concealer sponge. That is so good. I actually have to get another one. I accidentally ripped it when I was washing it, but that is a great under eye sponge but you see that was literally so easy and it's flawless it doesn't absorb a lot of your products but it blends everything out like so quickly so i actually really like this so i just finished up the rest of my makeup final thoughts on this sponge i think it's a really cute collector's item and if you're into bigger sponges you will love it like i said it blends out face products effortlessly and super fast not ideal for your under eyes but i feel like it's more so a collector's item if you don't really care about the aesthetics then i would say just opt out and go with like the total face sponge or the camo concealer sponge. So I'm going to go ahead and do lips now. We're also going to finish up the lower lashes, but I guess we can do lips first and then we can do that last. So I'm going to exfoliate. I'm excited about this with the coffee lip scrub. I love Elf's brown sugar lip scrub, the original. It's amazing. It's literally a part of my beauty routine. I use it every single week to exfoliate my lips. So I'm curious to see how this is going to compare to the original. Mm, it smells just like coffee. Ooh. Okay. I like this. Yeah, this is really exfoliating so i'm just like wiping off the dead skin off my lips so i really love the lip exfoliator if you guys like their traditional lip exfoliator the one in the black packaging you will love this it's pretty much identical the only thing is the scent is different this of course smells just like coffee okay now we can try out the glazed for days lip gloss set so there's two glosses in here of course a pink and an orange i believe these are also keychains which is cute you could like throw it on your key if you wanted to have a gloss so let's start off with the first shade which is just the orangey gloss loss okay these smell just like the primer very sweet this is really pretty it's not sticky it feels very creamy and you can see it just gives you a light glossy tint perfect for like just everyday natural makeup or if you just want something lightweight on the lips it doesn't feel too heavy or sticky this is it let's try out the pink one now i think the pink one is going to be so pretty for summer and this smells just like that as well Okay, that is so pretty. I really love them both. I think I like this one a little bit more, just like the color. Very nice formula, pretty colors. The last thing we're gonna do is just finish up the lower lashes and the inner corners. So I'm gonna go back into the Boston Cream palette. I'm gonna take that shimmery, really light white shade. The Boston Cream is definitely my fave. Since my look is so basic, I'm thinking of doing a little pop of color. So I'm gonna take the Chocolate Frosted with Sprinkles palette, and I'm thinking about mixing in this light shimmery yellow with the shimmery blue maybe creating like a little green kind of shade i'm literally going to mix the two look at that shade when you mix that is the prettiest like light green <gasps> 
I love it. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a really tiny little brush. This one is from BH. And I'm just gonna dip into both of the shades, spray my brush, and then just run that right on the lash line. Okay, you guys, I love the way this looks. I feel like even this applied all over the lid would be so pretty. I'm just gonna add a little bit of nude eyeliner on the waterline. This is the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil and the shade is Silky Nude. So that is everything for the Elf and Dunkin' Donuts collab. I think everything is so cute, but like amazing quality. And I don't really have a product in the collection that I didn't love or that didn't work for me. Like I actually love everything. I also wanted to mention that I'm sure you guys can tell, but the products are a little bit pricier versus if you were to buy everything separately just from Elf's like traditional products that they already have. So like for instance, the donut putty primer is $12 in this collection. But if you were to just buy the original, I think it's like nine or 10. Same with the eyeshadows, the bite size eyeshadow retail for three dollars each but in the collection they're a little bit pricier for the set but of course aesthetics and packaging and everything i'm sure that all has a lot to do with it but in general i will say the quality is on point like i mentioned i loved everything and i'm definitely going to be using these products in like my everyday makeup routine especially the primer i'm like obsessed with this i also really love the lip gloss so let me know what you guys think and if you're going to pick up this collection or have you tried it thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you very soon in my next one bye